The biggest complaint about the Clue Snowboard Bindings. I've been running the Clue Snowboard Bindings for the last year, and the biggest complaint and criticism I've seen people give it online is, But yeah, I'm not walking around the resort all day with a high back on my boot. And I think a lot of people making these claims are people that haven't actually tried the Clue Bindings. So I wanted to make this video to show you exactly how the Clue works and why this isn't the case, why you're not just walking around with your high back on your boot all over the place all the time. Let's get into it. Now, yes, to be fair, I do leave the high back attached to my snowboard boot when I'm skating on and off of the chairlift, through the lift line, that sort of thing. Leaving the high back on your boot skating through the lift line is really minimal, really quick. It's gonna make your whole process of getting on and off the chairlift much smoother and much simpler. It also keeps you from having to bend down and fold your high back down before you get on the chairlift. So it's one less thing to think about. Coming off the chairlift, it's super easy. You can either click in while that you're coming off the chairlift or as soon as you pull over, you step onto the binding and you're good to go. So yes, during this process, the high back is attached to your boot. Now, if I do have to walk a further distance and or if I'm walking off the snow, basically further than like, I don't know, 50 yards, give or take. If I'm going to the bathroom, the parking lot, into the lodge, you can simply just unstrap the bindings like a traditional snowboard binding. And that is why I love the Clue binding so much because it gives you the versatility. You can use the speed and the step-in system when you're getting and you know, you're doing hot snowboard laps on and off the chairlift all day. But then when you do want to use the straps, you just simply pop them up like a traditional snowboard binding and you're, you know, you're out of the binding like normal. Plus, they're gonna fit any snowboard boot so you don't have to have a step-in specific boot to be able to use these bindings, which also I think makes the boots more comfortable in general, being able to use just a traditional snowboard boot. I do think there's a bit of a misconception about how the high back actually attaches to your snowboard boot because I've had people say, oh yeah, well, how long does it take you to come out of the high back? So I wanna show you exactly how this high back attaches to your boot and show you just how fast and speedy and efficient this system actually is. Again, you're not just walking around with the high back on your boot all day. So when you first get to the mountain, just like you would any traditional binding, you're gonna put your boot in and strap it up. There you go, you're ratcheted in, you're ready to roll. Now, let's say you're coming off the chairlift, you're simply gonna pull this release lever in the back and your snowboard boot is out of your snowboard binding. As you can see, the high back is attached to the boot. The only thing keeping your high back on the boot is literally just your regular ankle strap. This is just like any other ankle strap on a snowboard. There's no special mechanisms, no extra hardware, nothing that really attaches this to your boot other than this strap. All you have to do, the person who asked how long does it take to take the high back off, that's it. That's, that's all you got. There's no extra or additional time to get this high back on your snowboard boot. So again, just to clarify, skating through the lift line, you pop this lever, pop the lever, you're out, skating through, come off the chairlift, stomp back in, you're ready to go. If you do have to walk further than the chairlift line, all you do, toe strap, ankle strap, and you are out of the binding. I cannot tell you how much it cracks me up or how many times I've answered this comment. You don't have to walk around everywhere with the high back on your boot. For short walks, you can leave the high back on. If you're walking far, take it off. For those of you who were wondering, this is what actually holds the binding in place. You've got a two stage click system. I have ridden on really deep powder days where I was only able to get that first click. And I wound up just using the straps because in really deep powder, it just works more efficiently to use the straps like a traditional binding. But on any other occasion, I've never had an issue getting it to the second click. And so you're very secure into these. This is a metal set of teeth that holds it in place. Then on the high back, this is what locks into those teeth. It's a little metal hook when you pull that lever. It's gonna compress that and allow it to come out of the binding. I genuinely really enjoy riding these bindings. I've been using them for over a year now. I had deep powder days in Utah in these bindings. I love the way they ride. I love the way they handle. I took them off drops, through tree runs, down steep runs, anything you can think of. I used them in super negative temperatures in Jackson Hole last winter. 
never had them ice up, never had them lock up or anything like that. Rose super steep Jackson hole runs on them. The responsiveness on these bindings, the way they ride, their all day comfort is really, really great. I rode the most consecutive days I've ever snowboarded in a row. I did a week straight snowboarding in Utah, never took a rest day. My feet never got discomfort. I never had any foot pain or anything like that. And I attribute a lot of that to the dampening and the shock absorption qualities of these snowboard bindings. If you want to know more about the Clue Snowboard Bindings, definitely check out this video as it's my full year review of using these snowboard bindings. Or if you have any other questions, leave those down in the comments below. I do have these bindings linked down below with an affiliate link. If you do order a pair of Clue Bindings using my link and using my promo code, it's going to take $50 off of the bindings, bringing them down to $450 or 10% off your whole order if you do add in some other things with those. The rest of my gear is also linked down below with affiliate links if you want to check any of that out. It does help support the channel and I really appreciate it if you're going to make any of these purchases if you would use my links. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you got some value out of this. If you did, please smash the like button. We'll see you on the slope soon. I hope you're getting some great snow.